Hello, welcome back to Blarvis Vintage Toys. On uh, today's video, we're going to be having a look back at the TV series V. Tonight is your chance to see how it all began, to relive the excitement that is V, the most extraordinary miniseries ever. A daring TV journalist struggling to uncover the startling truth behind the alien's visit to Earth. And a beautiful and brave young scientist fighting for the very survival of the human race. Together, they take you on a fantastic journey to meet the visitors. Prepare yourself for a television event that's out of this world. Prepare for V. Next. Now, I'm sure you'll know the series V. If you're watching this channel, you're probably around the same age as me. And you probably seen V back in the 80s. Now, um, a lot of younger people have not seen it. So I'm just doing this video to reminisce, to uh, have that bit of nostalgia, because this channel is all about nostalgia. But I want to tell people about V, because it seems to have gone under the radar, especially lately, for some reason. I don't know why. It is one of the best sci-fi series out there um, one of the many that uh, they did in America but one of the best I think it's probably probably the best sci-fi series apart from Star Trek perhaps Star Trek things like that but like the mini series they didn't put a lot of money into it um, but the writing the acting apart from one person I'll talk about in a minute it's just Phenomenal. The characterizations are just absolutely brilliant. It came out in 1983. Well, those the miniseries, the first two episodes came out in the America in, in 1983. And the final battle, which was three episodes, the second miniseries, so there's actually two miniseries, came out in 1984. Now, in the UK, we got them all at once. Of the five nights, one spammy summer week, the Olympics had been. There was some problem with the Russians not going to the Olympics, things like that. ITV pulled out a show in the Olympics, and they needed something to put in its place. So from Monday to Friday that week, we got V, and I was 14 years old. Love sci-fi, love Star Trek, Star Wars, everything like that, obviously. And this was. I think I must have seen the trailer on the Monday morning or the Sunday night before and thinking, wow. And thinking, oh, this must be like ages, ages, months in advance, like they usually do. Show trailers months in advance. But no, it was going to be on tonight. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's something that we talked about on the schoolyard every day. We, that's the whole thing we talked about that summer. V. What a fantastic programme it was. Um, it was done by NBC in America. Obviously it was shown on ITV over here. Uh, as I say, all in one big block over five nights. Which I think may have been better than seeing it two episodes and three. So maybe we accepted it a bit more than... I don't know. I might be wrong about that. It's just some visitors. They call the visitors aliens coming coming to the earth and uh, wanting to help us um, cure our diseases, things like that. But obviously, things not not according to uh, to plan, and it's found out by Mike Donovan, who was the reporter who gets to go on the ship. Uh, Mark Singer played him. He's the actor that is a bit over the top. Those 80s actors, like bit, bit like uh, David Hasselhoff, a bit over the top. He's very over the top. And there's more established actors in it, like um, Michael Ironside, who must have really hit. <laughs> He's more or less the star of V. Uh, you've got Juliet Parrish, um, the scientist, who was a very, very good actor. They're all good actors. I don't, I'm not saying Mark Singh is not a good actor. He just overacts. Very over, very, very, very much overacting. But apart from that, if you can get over that, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, the special effects, I've seen reviews from 2009 looking back at it saying the, the 
special effects are outdated. Yes, they are outdated, but they were out. They were outdated when they first came out. Basically, <laughs> they were terrible when they first came out. Especially as I got as as I I'll go on to this this actual series. They did they did two mini series, then they did a proper series. Um, I'm currently watching them on Forces TV. I've got back into them. I used I used to have them all on DVD. I didn't have the series, but I had the uh, mini series and the final battle. On DVD, I'd watch them every what eighteen months to every every so often. I'd watch them because I love them so much, and I've not watched them now for a good 10, 15 years, maybe. And as I'm going on to the the TV series, I have not watched the TV series since it was aired in 1984-85. Now, having said that, I was fourteen, fifteen at the time. I was still at school, and they didn't. ITV showed them at half past ten at night, so I had to stay up, watch them. I could have, I think I must have recorded them as well. It might have been, it was just the time where we had VHS, where we could actually record things. But it was usually at the time where me, mum and dad would be watching videos, so you can't, you couldn't, you couldn't watch a video and record something. So. Um, I'd usually stay up and watch it. Um, that may be why it got cancelled in America. It was on put on the wrong time. Maybe put on the wrong time in the UK. It should have been more prime time. It was a prime time show. And it is very cheesy. I'll give you that. It's, it's very cheesy. It's very 80s. It's, but that saying that though, it's aged. It's aged pretty well. It's aged pretty well in the fact that these visitors come and it could it could be any time. It's, it's not really set, apart from the hairstyles, it's not really set in the 80s. It is set in the 80s, but it could, it could, be, it could be now. And going on to that, they did a, another, like a reboot in 2009, which lasted two series, I think about 22 episodes. Um, that got again got cancelled. Um, I think it was ABC. ABC in America did that, and those took like twenty two episodes, and they got cancelled because the network was putting them on at the wrong time. Just trying to mix things up, and yeah, it's just that was gets me about networks. They want the ratings. They don't look at the show, how good the show is. They look at the ratings. So that's why you see a lot of crap on TV in America, they look at the ratings and not how well received the show is, because V was brilliant. What I've had the ratings because it won't have been on at the right time. You don't put something on at the right time, it won't get the ratings. Look at Doctor Who in, 90, in the 90, late 80s, uh, late, 90, late, late 80s, they started putting it on Used to, it was on a Saturday. It's, they're doing the same now. Saturday, everybody's watching it. Everybody's watching it. They put started putting it on midweek, opposite uh, Coronation Street, things like that. But obviously, back then, every, most people had one TV, and the the parents would be watching Coronation Street because that's more pop, that's more popular. Now. Obviously, the ratings are going to go down on Doctor Who. He wanted to kill, he wanted to kill Doctor Who, so that's what they did. They put it on opposite a program where they know they're not going to get the ratings, so they've got the excuse to kill it. And that's that's what people do. That's what the networks do if they don't really want a show. That's that's the thing. But going back to V, um, Forces TV have got it on now. They they've actually on the. I think it's the second time they've shown it. They have um, they're showing the TV series at the moment. It's like four, four or five episodes into the TV series. Don't start watching another TV series because you won't like it. Probably won't like it then. It is um, drawn out, and there's some quite boring bits in it. It's quite cheesy, quite romantic bits in it, but there's good action in it as well. So please go back to watch the originals. Get them on DVD. They're quite cheap. Um, 
Not sure if they're on uh, Netflix or anything like that. Check it out. They could be. Um, but I'd, I'd buy it. I'd buy it, definitely. If you're a sci-fi fan, and you you must be if you're uh, watching this channel, basically. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, let you know about V. You, like I say, you probably know about it. You probably know. You probably love it like me. Uh, I just... It's taken Forces TV for me to kickstart my love again of it. I forgot how good it actually was, basically. The writing, the acting, special effects, mm, um, the, there was no toys brought out, there was one toy actually brought out, a 12 inch visitor doll, which I would love to get, I would love to get a very expensive, um, where you can pull his, his mask off his head off and it's a lizard underneath. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> but going back to the lizard bit, it was still quite shocking, even though I know what was going to happen. And, and some of the effect, again, some of the effects were quite dodgy. They were quite dodgy about then. But when his face gets pulled off and he's a lizard and he's fighting him, that it, it, it shocked me basically. I don't know why. I knew what I knew what was going to happen, but it's still it was still very shocking to me. So it, that's what hit me. That it still shocked me. Yeah, there was um, not a lot of toys, but there was one visitor doll that came out, as I say, and there was um, prototypes of many of the figures, and this is the perfect show for toys. I'm thinking it when I'm watching it the other night, I'm thinking, why did they not bring... I'd love to be playing with the, the figures now, and they do customs, somebody does on an eBay does customs, and they use, they use a uh, hand cabinet head uh, body. As, as Mike Donovan, which is quite expensive unless it's just a mould. Anyway, I digress. Um, toys should have been made, really should. As I said, prototypes were made, and there's actually toys in the show. The ships, the figures of all the characters are actually. Mike Donovan's son is actually playing with that, with the with the shuttles and all that lot, and I just don't know why they just didn't bring them out. They should have done. And that is something maybe somebody should look at. I don't know if uh, Funko with the uh, the reaction figures. I don't know if they brought the reaction figures out, but they should be, look, be looking at figures like that. Definitely, maybe a six-inch line of them for uh, would be twenty twenty-three the anniversary. So maybe they should start looking at that now. Maybe uh, maybe Hasbro is watching. They should do it. Back when I was fourteen, I just I just watched it for the action and adventure like you do. But when you grow up, you you learn to um, you know about characterisation, character arcs, things like that. And there's plenty of those. There's like a core of main characters. will stick through it. Uh, we'd lose some. We gain some. In the TV series, we've we've gained a few more. We we'll lose some, and uh, it's, that's a part of war because it is basically a war against the aliens. And um, I just want to mention Diana. I was I didn't I quite liked her when when I was growing up. She wasn't I don't know I don't know because she was I thought of her as a lizard. <laughs> I just I don't know or a or a baddie maybe. But looking back now, looking at her now, you're thinking, wow, she was absolutely gorgeous. She's stunning. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, I'd like a Diana doll for my lady self. Um, but she, the, the bringing a body of the week kind of thing. And the last couple of episodes, she kills him. She goes, <laughs> but that's, um, that's, that's it. I mean, we, we, me and my friend used to uh, take the piss out of it quite a bit because we loved it. Like you do. Things you love, you take the piss off, don't you? Um, how bad Mark Singer's acting is. Um, how cheesy it is. How they use the same special effects over and over again on the TV series because the budget wasn't... They use the same same effects from the TV series as the miniseries because there was no, no budget in it. And it was basically uh, filmed on um, the same 
Town Square, Back to the Future, you know, Gremlins, Hill Valley, same TV studio square. Every week it was a set. It was a different uh, town, but it was the same square <laughs> every week. Um, but you get over that. It's just a fantastic, fantastic show that needs watching. So I hope you do. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching, and may the toys be with you. Fun fact, entirely true fun fact today. Lego isn't just the king of connecting blocks. They are also the world's leading manufacturer, at least when it comes to unit produced. Every, year's, every year, Lego makes 306 million tiny rubber tyres for their kits. For comparison, Goodyear produces 181 million tyres per year. Wow.